Kenny, uh, after a 3 0 win at the weekend, uh, it's pretty fair to say a positive start to the season. Yeah, I've been pleased. Four points out of six. Performance is always big as well at the start of the year. You want to be looking at your team, looking at the cohesion, looking at the standard of your players individually as well, and you know, seeing what you, you, you think they can do this year. And, and then, as well as all of those things, making sure that you, know, you have to learn and learn quickly as a manager early in the season to uh, get the best out of your squad. And, and also, you know, with one or two weeks to go of the window, uh, uh, maximise out any potential that you have to, to, to increase or improve the playing squad. In terms of style of play as well, I know we've spoken about it already, but that, that third goal must be really pleasing as a, as a manager to see that things that you are working on are transferring to the pitch. Yeah, and we, we do, like everybody, we do work hard in possession, we work out hard out of possession, and you know, quite obviously you need a plan in both, and, and to just keep working at the, the cohesion, you know, in training maybe have a morning of in possession work, a morning out of possession work, and, and um, yes, it is nice when it transfers onto the pitch. Mm. It's a trip up to Carlisle this weekend, and probably the longest one for Orient to make, and it's one of those where throughout the season, obviously, the away games are really important in kind of determining where we end up in the season. Yeah, all games are important. You know, you want a, you want a good home record, you want to be strong, build up a good uh, uh, rapport with your supporters, and, and that's a big one. But, you know, similarly, when you get on the road, uh, you can't be a soft touch either. And, you know, we do really appreciate the supporters that, that make the effort and, and, and help us to achieve. You know, Salford was, I thought, excellent in terms of, you know, the support. The, the away support is really, really good. And with crowds coming back, you know, that, that home support everywhere is a little bit more vocal because they've missed it. So, you know, g g uh, going up whenever we travel away, I really do appreciate the people that make the effort to go and support us. But similarly, it's up to us to put on a, a, a performance that encourages them as well. And, and, you know, we have to be both on and off the ball at our very best against, you know, what, what is now tough little run of games with a Harrogate game being put, put off we've had a little bit of a breather this week some work on the training ground which is good but similarly you know Carlisle, Harrogate, Bradford you know they're good games ones we should look forward to and Carlisle game in particular like us they'll be buoyed by a positive result of the weekend and aside that last year caught fire at one stage before a kind of disappointing end so so we know going there will be a tough test yeah and they are a good team you know they're well coached like a lot of the, cl the, the clubs so you know they're good attitude, uh, 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 good quality as well, I, I think. And as you say, it's maybe things, I think, maybe conspired against them slightly with, you know, the, the games being off and the COVID, you know, that's the way it looks from the outside. They were just a little bit unlucky. And as you say, uh, had, had you know a long spell of, of being in control and, and really doing well in terms of the league. And they'll be wanting to replicate that, I'm sure, and capable of it. So, you know, for us, we, we certainly won't ever underestimate anybody. We won't be doing that with Carlisle. You know, we'll give them the respect they deserve. But similarly, you know, m my focus mainly is always on my own team and my own side's performance rather than the opposition. Well, talking about your own team, you added Tyrese on the toy to that this week. What does he add to that f uh, final third? I think he can play any of the front three positions which is good. He mainly he's been a central striker. He give us some pace from from the central uh, position, which is very important. But um, he can play any of the three the the, the three striking positions. Uh, combined with combined with different people, um, gives us as I said, good pace, good hunger, and an ability to score goals. So you know, after his trial with us, I'm really pleased that uh, he's come back and looking forward to working with him during during the course of the season because. At times in the last uh, week or two, you know, we have we have looked like slightly light on numbers of forwards. Mm. And just on that note, and finally from me, in, ter in terms of team news for the weekend, obviously we know Paul Smith missed out last weekend. Is there any update on Paul and, and potentially any others that might be missing? Yeah, uh, uh, Paul won't be travelling to Carlisle. It doesn't look that way. And um, uh, Harry Smith, you know, was absolutely fine and after his sub-appearance as well. So with, with Tyrese added, that's what it's likely to be in terms of the squad.